work might improve your business and how business is able to help the Typo3 community. A warm welcome for the two. Hey, hi. Hi. My name is uh, Business. Nice to meet you. Uh, who are you? Nice to meet you. I am the Typo3 community. Oh, Typo3. What's, what's that, Typo3 community? Well, the Typo3 community is an open source community. We produce open source software. That means we are working as a team, and we are developing a software to be used by everyone and for everyone. And it's a bit like a bazaar, you know? Um, everyone comes together, and so all people have something to share, something to give, and then something to take, and they join ideas, and they join workforce, and in the end, you have a wonderful product. And um, that's uh, what the Type of 3 community does. So more or less uh, a group of whatever kind of people. Yes, it was all started by a group of people that was interested in creating a content management system. Okay. And they kickstarted the project, and now we have Type of 3 CMS since long years, and we are also developing other software like the. So it's, it's uh, kind of everybody. So you have developers and you have. Um... Yes, these days we have all kinds of people in the community. We have developers, of course, that develop the software, but we also have writers that write uh, articles and, and documentation. We have designers that take care of the design of. Uh, also, the, the users are part of the community. Yes, of course, all the users are part of the community, and they can take part in all the events and everything. Yes. Okay. Okay, so if I have an editor, he's also part of the community? Yes, of course. If he wants to join and actively contribute and help in the project, of course he can. There are many ways that uh, any editor can help in the project. So kind of everybody is the community. Yes, everybody is the community, and that's why it's so like the Okay, bazaar. so this is why you call it the bazaar, yes. because it's... Okay, now I yes. understand what this is coming. Thank Great. you very much. Yeah, no problem. And you, what are you about? I mean, what do you do? Oh, well... I'm I'm a business, and um, well, we have a middle-sized company. We are 10 people, and um, we're more or less not that long on the market, around about six, seven years. And we do middle-sized type of three CMS um, uh, projects. So this is uh, what we do. I see. So you, you also develop your extensions? Uh, your, cell, your own extensions or only websites? Uh, yes, we do websites and we, uh, yes, mainly we use the, the already made extensions and we download it from the TER. And um, yeah, sometimes we adapt it and sometimes uh, we already uh, developed some of the extensions on our own. Not very big ones, but we did okay. some. And did you publish them to the extension repository maybe? Oh, no, no, no not yet. Um, yeah, mainly. Uh, we do not know how to do it, so um, okay. no. But, Sorry. <laughs> yes, but I mean, we can help you with that. I mean, we are the community and we have all kinds of ideas and, um, you know, there are many ways to learn about... Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you do? We killed it. Oh, maybe I can help you. Um, well, there are many ways to learn okay. about <laughs> um, publishing extensions. Um, okay, so I can and, and, uh, join a kind of uh, a group and learn that it's, I can send people somewhere? And yes, you can, you can meet people all around okay. the world on the events. We have lots of camps and we have okay. also we have the, this conference and the, the okay. developer days that is especially for this kind of information. And you can join user groups in Okay, so I can, I can look around. I, I, well, there are quite a lot. Yes. Um, yes. Are there only here in that's a little, little bit looks like Europe centralized? Are there also some in uh, in uh, maybe United States or yes, Canada we have and or Asia? Or yes, we we have Africa? conferences in both of them, and uh, currently not in in Africa, but hopefully that will also happen soon. But okay, so you just have a look, and maybe I yes. can send some people there. Yeah, to to the conference or the okay, cool. bar camps, okay. and if. 
you need shorter, uh, short term information, you can look us up on all these channels. We are present in Google Plus and okay. Facebook and Twitter. And you can find all kinds of helpful people there. Okay. And they will support you with uh, information about how to publish extensions and how to best produce your extensions for You're around everywhere, so I can find you in Facebook, in Google Plus, or yes. whatever. Do you have kind of channels where I can just uh, special or forums yes. and so? Yes, I of just course. Google it and then I will find yes. something. Yes, all and the information channels are also on Type of 3 org. Okay. And everywhere there are yeah, friendly but, but people. They, well, I don't know, I don't get that. There, there are maybe in the channel, there are some people there and they are just there. I, I do not know them. Maybe they, yeah, but they are not around all the time. I, I can't simply, can I simply ask any time, any questions are, these people there all the time? Yes, yes, yes. There are people there almost all the time. Someone is around, and they are helpful. And I mean, they are there to help other people. And um, especially on the mailing list, there's lots of traffic and lots of people asking questions and answering questions. And the forums also there. You have lots of people. So I, I go there and I ask a question. For example. Yes. Okay. Maybe we can we can just. I have a, a, a question and I post it somewhere on a forum or maybe into whatever you call it here, like this Slack Slack, Slack thingy here. Yeah, it's a kind okay. of chat. Oh, this IRC. This sounds like really old school. But yeah. Okay, so I post uh, a question there, and uh, then maybe somebody answers it. Exactly. So, and, and that's it. Yes, that basically that's it, if, if that's what you need. But even better would be if you know some answers to, to questions other people have, uh. that you answer them. That would be great. Okay. Then everybody shares something. You get your answer, and you answer something from someone else. Okay, so maybe I, if I get it right. I just go in there. I look for the thing I'm, I'm interested in. I read through whatever kind of answers. Um, if I get the answer, I'm happy. Maybe okay. I can write thank you or whatever. And um, maybe I find an answer which I already can answer, and maybe I can answer that. Exactly. And uh, maybe if I do not find anything, I just simply ask my question. Yes. And then uh, hopefully somebody else answers this question. This question, yes. And depending on how quick you need the answer or how, what kind of interaction you need, Either you post to the mailing list or the forum, then it will probably take a bit longer, but you will get longer answers. OK. You know, that's a good point, because um, you tell me now, I tell my, uh, uh, my developer, OK, I do not have any clue who can answer you this question, whatever, but uh, just go to this mailing list, and maybe somebody may help you or what. And maybe he waits for two days or whatever, and maybe this is an important problem. So um, this. I think it should, it could work maybe, but um, maybe it's a little bit chaotic. Are yes. there uh, other kinds of how-tos or, or, or documentation or whatever kind of stuff? Yeah, of course. And, and, who, uh, and even if there is, uh, who, who does could take care of this? Yeah, of course. That's a, that could be a problem. I mean, you, you need to you need to search for answers as well. That is another point. You can search for all kinds of information. We have um, a very good documentation website. Um, okay. And we also have a blog speci uh, specifically from the teams of Type 3, and we have also our wiki, uh, which has lots and lots of information. Okay, and so this works like, like uh, the, the wiki in Wikipedia, so if yes. I've got a, a, um, found out myself and uh, if I have a how-to, I can post this? Yes, there? please, do it. Yes, and also there are, there are lots and lots of blog posts and tutorials from the community. People, okay. people write blogs just about Type 3 and they, they post weekly tutorials and weekly to-dos and helpful information about Type 3 and about development, and there you can find lots of, of answers for, for typical problems that happen in, in development of websites. So maybe I could also set up kind of whatever um, um, information uh, hub on my company website. Yes, that would be wonderful. Just to help the people. Yes. Okay. If, if I, for example, is I specialized in in a, in a certain area, and I know there is not that much information. Okay, I get that. But that's also a little bit kind of um, self-organized. Yes, that's all self-organized. But it's I mean it's it's really a good idea if you if you post answers to questions you had in your business and if you found good solutions. Um, for problems you yeah. had, uh, it's it's great if you share them with others because okay. that way everyone is helped and you get help from other people as well. Okay. With all these channels. Okay. And um, basically, it's scratching your own itch. That's the thing. 
scratching what? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I, I did not get that. What you that? don't get that? Well, no, I don't get that. That's a it's a it's a typical term in open source community. Scratching your own itch. It means, well, you have this software. You have um, your project, and you're working on your project. And yes. at some point, you have a problem. Absolutely, that's a problem. That happens. <laughs> Sometimes I have a problem, Everyone. and I have nobody who can fix it. Exactly. exactly. Okay, this is that my happens. itch. That's your itch. Okay, exactly. this is my itch. Okay. And you itch it, and you itch, and you itch, and it's a, this problem. I mean, okay. you, you cannot solve it. Okay. And, but you have to solve it. Yeah. So you find a solution at some point. Okay. And then, uh, by sharing this solution... Okay, this yeah. is what you mean. I have an itch in a project. Yes. And, and then I solve my, pro it. my problem in my project, and then I can simply put it somewhere in the mailing list or I do a how-to or whatever because it was my itch, exactly. and I only need a little bit uh, of, of time investment, and I can publish it, and then I maybe get a good ranking in Google, then it comes back, and they link to my company. Okay, I get that now. Yes, and other people get to know you because of that, so okay. that helps everyone. Okay. And that's how other people do it as well. Okay. They have their personal itch. And okay, now I understand if it builds up itself, because I thought maybe this is not uh, somebody has to, whatever kind of... No, no, it's, it, it sounds a bit chaotic, but it works pretty well. Okay. Everyone has specific problems in their projects, and if everyone shares the solution, uh, okay. we have a big pool of solutions, and the software is growing and growing and evolving because someone had a problem and solved it at some point. So okay. it's solved for everyone. So it's also so that oh, not only the, the developers help me, there are also other companies who are putting some information from their projects into the pool or whatever, yes. and I take that out. These are competitors. Yeah, but... Yeah, and I also put some solution in, and uh, so, okay, yes. now I understand how also my... Okay. That's also how many extensions happen to be. Okay. Because someone okay. needed th this kind of extension and produced it for their customer and okay. then published them to... I think um, you're a great guy. And you I too. like it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so cool maybe, that you um, have yeah, we'll try it out. I, I think we will try it out. Yes, please. Yes. Try it out. Yes, try it thank out. you very much. See you later. Okay, see you later. End of act one. <laughs> so, here we are again. Next conference. Ah, okay. Hey. Hi! There you nice are to meet you. Yes, great that you're, seen. yes, but great that you're back again. Yes, so. yes, yes, sure. I've been around. It, it's, that's now the, the second time we see it's here. Uh, a year, a year. We met yes. a year ago. Yes, 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 right, yes, right. yes. And yes. how did it go? What oh well, did you exactly. Do? Well, I did exactly what you told me. You know. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. And what happened? Um, uh, well, we, we had a, a project and uh, we had a different problem, and uh, we solved it, and um, then we just put it out. Then there was some contact with other guys. Oh, that may we, we have the same problem, whatever, but your solution is not that flexible. We need another this and that. And we got in contact to other guys. And then what happened is that we uh, simply joined forces. Cool. Yeah, we joined forces. We recognized that we have different features and that we should uh, uh, simply work together. So what we did, actually, we built up an extension team. Uh, cool. you know that. Yes, of we, course, but yeah, that's great. There, this is the thing, yeah, you know, you do this Forge thingy, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Um, we Tell built me. up this extension. Tell me how you did it. Okay, you, you put it on Forge, that's wonderful. I put it, at, yes, we set up a project on Forge, and at the first we got in contact. So it was actually, it were competitive, competitive companies. Cool. So we, we all, I also got in, in contact with other companies. So we sat together, there's mainly three companies, and we built up this extension uh, team, and we set up a team on Forge, and now we're uh, developing a more flexible thing, a more flexible extension, which everybody can use. Cool. And uh, we have the bug tracker, and so we, everybody joined forces, and so it's not that much work for the people in my company, because the others are also joining in. And if we really have a w big workload because uh, of the project at the moment, other guys are helping out. So That's cool. it works sometimes a little bit better, sometimes more, but uh, most of the time it works good. Yes. Great. And so with Forge, you had the infrastructure to do that, right? Yes, yes, I mean, yes, yes. You didn't, do, you didn't need to put in company resources to provide. No, no, we simply, yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit of time uh, of because course. everybody uh, needs to, uh, to do it in, in spare time or when you had to find between the projects or after projects. But uh, mainly it worked out well. The infrastructure was there and we simply could use it. That's cool. It was, yeah, it was, it was cool. Actually, I think I have seen your extension and it's pretty cool, especially the front end design is, is very nicely 
be done and it works ah, pretty well. Yes. It's, it's really lovely. I mean, how, how did you do that? I mean, many extensions come with some bare bones template, but this yeah. one is really well thought out and, and really nice. And this is, uh, this is also really cool because there are a lot of people who pointed to the cool front end we have, also the responsive uh, um, thingy. And uh, so we also had, uh, um, yeah, lots of people getting uh, getting to know us also as a company yeah. and the reason uh, um, why we got this because I have a really gifted uh, designer in my company this is a really cool guy and um, he loves the community I don't know why but he's kind of community guy and um, yeah he's a cool designer so okay okay so and you know that uh, type of three has um, lots of teams. The community has a lot of teams, and there's also a design team. I mean, we are always <laughs> looking for such yeah, talented yeah, yeah. guys and yes. to join the teams because we, we, we need those resources, of course. Yes. And but would, yes? no, but I can tell you, this guy is already part of the design team. Wow, that's cool. Yes, because I told you, this is a kind of community guy, yeah. and when he got in contact, he figured out that there's a design team, and he joined the design team. So he already is. Wow. So I, I think that's cool to have this design team. Well, I'm not part of the community. Uh, I still take care for the business part. But it's cool that you have this one team. That's cool. Yeah. And I mean, how did, he like, how did he like it so far? I mean, I guess he gets lots of new ideas and exchange with other designers in this, this team. I think that's, that's yes. pretty nice. Also that he, um, there are designers from other parts, yeah. so he, uh, um, from other areas. So he gets cross inputs. Yeah. From, from different areas, also uh, from other uh, countries. So that's also interesting. It's kind of a little bit more diversity. Mm -hmm. It's not only in, in his uh, space, he gets a little bit interaction. And um, yes, do, there are um, other, other teams yes. as well. Um, there are actually lots of teams. We have, oh. yes, I mean, that's, these are just some examples from, from all the work meetings they do. Um, okay. Usually they are called code sprints, even if they are not about code all okay. the time. But the, the first team there was, I mean, this is a software development community. So the first team there was was the core development team that took care of developing the core of Type of 3 so further. So progress, progress. Yes, all, okay. all developers. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm, because I'm more like, I'm more interested in the, yeah, I know there is need of better marketing. I think yes. we need better user experience. I think we are need also uh, the conception, whatever. Um, I also think that in a business, um, you have to organize your work. I'm exactly. also, and are there also teams for this kind of stuff or is more like developer related? No, 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 no. There is, there is a marketing team that takes care of marketing and marketing okay. material and all that. Um, there's a documentation team that, really is dedicated to producing nice documentation about Type of 3 and um, the environment. So that's also a pretty important team. Are they also kind of, uh, do, doing also like, um, 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 yeah, maybe helping editor stuff? Because this is also what I think all the time I'm doing like uh, uh, when I do the, the workshops for the customers. Um, I'm in need of doing the same work again and again. Maybe there are things can be reused, like whatever. I can point them to any kind of uh, tutorials or a, a video, whatever. Yes, things. we have a video tutorial team that produces video tutorials. Okay. Um, we have the video team that uh, also produces videos of events, so you can okay. you can watch you like can that. watch the talks um, later uh, if you didn't visit the event. Um, we have an editorial team that writes. Um, documents uh, specifically for Type of 3 Org, but they, they write all kinds of, of texts that are needed in the Type of 3 universe. So okay. if there is need of a new text in the backend of Type of 3, maybe the editorial team can help with that. Um, but there are, there are lots, of, lots of teams. Of course, there's big technical infrastructure, so we have, we have an administration team that takes okay. care of servers and stuff. So if you have develop, uh, DevOps people or server people, those are okay. also very interesting for us. Um, to help out. And um, the marketing team, I said already, we have the... Where, where do you find them? Where do you find the teams? Yeah, check out Type of 3 Org. It's the website of Type of 3 and the community, and there is a dedicated Teams page, and there are lots of descriptions about all the teams. Okay. Um, there's also a certification for Type of 3. Uh, probably yeah, some no. of your developers already have that. Yes. They have. And also the certification, there's a team for that, for so people can... Um, okay can bring this certification forward, and also an education committee bringing the... Okay, so I can simply join in, or yes. I can, in every, yes. every area there is... All, all, okay. the, teams, all the teams have, have people that, that you can connect to, and... And 
you know what I'm interested at, as a woman, um, if there is a, a yeah, maybe you, you find it funny now, but uh, for me sometimes it's a little bit uh, interesting or helpful to have a, a women team. Do you have a women team, a female team, like only uh, females? A maybe? female team? No, we don't have a female team yet, but I mean, that could be created. Um, it's it's uh, very open and you can create uh, new how, teams. How can I? Uh, so, okay, I create a team. So Yeah, well, just, uh, you already created an extension, right? Yes. So you created a team on Forge. Yes. And this is your extension team. It's also already a team. Okay. So go ahead, say, okay, I want to start a women team, maybe invite some people that you know already. Oh, if I get in contact on conferences and I detect that there are, actually, I think there are a lot of uh, women it would be interested yes. in. And then create a, create a group on Forge. Okay. And then the admin team can help you create a news, a news list okay. or something or forum for that okay. if you need one. Okay, and so there you set go. it up. Yes. That's, uh, that's uh, the last time you told me about the bazaar. That's the exactly, bazaar that's thingy. the bazaar. That's why we are such an okay. uh, open community. Just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Okay. And it will be joined into the community. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Um, of course, I mean, we, we talked already a bit about developing teams, but um, as you know, there's, there's more than Type of 3 CMS now. We also have um, Flow, the application framework, and the Neos as a new CMS uh, oh, yes. coming up. And those are also development teams, of course. So Yes, um, I know, I know. I know this Neos because I've got a trainee. I've got this uh, one trainee, and uh, um, he's a really uh, enthusiastic guy, and he figured this Neos thingy out. Cool, cool. Yes. And um, every... Oh, yeah, on the long run, he wants to be a contributor. You know? Yes, yes. yes on course. the long run. Uh, and what I also he told me, uh, he attended his developer days. Yes, you know, the developer days. Yes, that's one of the events we have. Yes. Yes. The, oh, you, told me, you told me last year you also have these camps, and then you also have these conferences. This was the developer a conference, and there he managed already, and this is really cool, but he, but he, he did not uh, um, work that long with Ninos. He delivered. With these guys on uh, de developer days, he delivered a patch. Wonderful. So he That's already wonderful. contributed. He already contributed. And um, this is, I support this uh, from my company because um, I like to, I, I think that's a cool thing, this new thing. And I want to go a little bit into the market here. And I think um, if I now support this guy and we are kind of uh, one of the primary agency on the markets, this gives us a, a good good opportunity as a company. Yes, of course, and so also you, you, you gain knowledge. I mean, your, your developer definitely, will, will get a lot of knowledge from the team and from definitely. developing this, definitely. so this also improves the developer directly. Yes, and, and since he is an enthusiastic guy, I think it would be that cool. Will work and out. I think on the long run, he will, uh, I hope he will be a contributor, part of the uh, core team. Yes, of course. I think so. And I mean, after some time, Working in the team and developing cool things, I mean, that's, that's probably what everyone, every developer wants to do, develop cool features, cool new features. Yeah, and if, if, you know, if you go to, the, to, to, to your, um, if you want to sell your product, yeah? And uh, there's also, also, the, also time this question about open source and how to of fix course. things, and you have to uh, wait for patches, whatever yes. kind of stuff, and you tell, um, your business partner, well, my developers are part of the core team, yeah, that core helps. team. That helps, definitely, yes. definitely. Yes, yeah, sure. but um, after some time, you will probably have knowledge that other people don't have. And at that point, it would be cool to talk about it and share yeah, your sure. knowledge. Definitely. And then you can, you can send your developers as speakers to those events. And oh, that yes. would be even cooler. So they, they okay. actually help new developers to join the teams okay. in that way by presenting what they did and by helping others to, to start contributing yeah, and like we did. also present for the uh, my company. Yes. Uh, sorry, but uh, this is important for me, you know? Yeah, of course. He does uh, to take care for, for, the, for the code sprints, and I sent him there, and uh, he doesn't work in the project that time. Anyway, I have to take care for the travel costs, for the hotel, whatever kind of True. stuff. Yes. Yeah, sure. And uh, at that moment, he can, can present my company. That's a good benefit, definitely. Yes, of course. And you also can, of course, present cool projects that you did with the technology. That's another benefit. Yeah, maybe are there sponsors at this? 
Yes, there are sponsors. There are all kinds of opportunities to sponsor these events. Uh, okay. You can be uh, sponsoring the whole event, okay. but you can also just uh, sponsor parts like just the T-shirts, for example, okay. or the lanyards. There are all kinds of, of ways to contribute to those events. Okay. And not only to these events, there are lots of other events like the bar camps um, that also... So you have kind of sponsoring packages? And, uh, yes, I can all the events have sponsoring packages. Okay. And well, I'm not that big as a company, so we have no. different uh, sizes. Different of levels of of sponsoring, okay. yes. That is, every event has different levels. That depends on the size of the event, of course. Okay. Um, and then I get to know what I get when I have a whatever kind of uh, package, then I exactly. know the benefits. Exactly. Okay. Um, but there's also um, the code sprints I taught you about earlier, the teams meeting together and, and mm -hmm. joining forces and, and developing or creating marketing materials or designing something together. Okay. That's very important for those teams because it allows them to, to be together as a team, to socialize, to, to meet each other in person. Okay. And those are also important and, and also need help from companies like you. Um, you can so help. you announced it somewhere? Yes, on Type of 3 Org, there's an event okay. list, and also there are these, these events announced. And you can also actively go to a team if, you, if like, your designer is in the design team and um, you hear that they want to meet up. Maybe you can offer them your conference room for a day or two. Okay. That would help already. Because and then, then I'm somewhere mentioned. Yes, yes, of course. Okay. People will mention you on Twitter, and you okay. are mentioned on the website okay. um, as the place where this event takes part. So that is also very helpful in a smaller way if you... Yeah, I think what, what I now get is that I um, can send my developers there, and they present my company. I can also, I can also sponsor uh, the, the conferences or the camps or whatever, and be there uh, present as a company. Um, yeah, that's... I like it, first. I like it, um, and, uh, but it's a little bit like not continuous. Yeah, you know, what I, would, what I would love is in one way to contribute in a continuous way. Not, not only that I uh, think it continues, uh, um, um, help is a little bit, uh, yeah, whatever, longer lasting thingy, but also maybe I can, I have ideas, you know, and I want to put them in. A little bit. Are there possibilities to, to contribute in the long run? Yes, so if you want to have a planable and, and long-term contribution as a company yes. to the Type of 3 community, yes. um, I would love. you would love to join the Type of 3 Association. Um, the Type of 3 Association um, is, was created some years ago to help the development of Type of 3, to have uh, continuous development for the future, and also okay. to um, organize events like this one uh -huh. to take care of organizing all this and, and that there's some infrastructure and mm -hmm. they take care of, of the trademark and the, the legal things that are needed for such a such an, uh, community. So they have the copyright or what do they yes, have? Yes, they, they take care of, of this okay. and um, protect it. And um, they also um, are there for, for communication for marketing and communication inside and outside so uh, people get to know about Type of 3 because that needs to be organized in some way. Okay. And, and this association... This, this is a little bit new for me. I, I heard about this association thingy, but um, last year uh, we uh, talked about the community. And, right, uh, that was you, more about the community. Yes, this was yes. about the community and ba about the bazaar. Yes. You know, and you said it's a lot of chaotic and it was a little bit weird for me as a company to get my, oh, yeah, get in contact and find my space in, in this uh, bazaar. Um, and now you tell me that there is uh, an organization, it's like a company or... No, it's an, it's an association. It's a Swiss association. Like with memberships? Yes, with memberships. And um, okay. also with roles and positions that, of course, someone needs to take up. So, first of all, you should join as a member. That's the most important part. With that, you already support the, the association and the community. There are different membership levels, so okay. you, can, you can grow depending on the size of your company. If, you, if your company is growing, you can um, take a bigger level of, of uh, membership. Uh, we, have, we have the bronze membership, which is specifically for small businesses or freelancers. Mm -hmm. uh, the silver membership for smaller companies, maybe something for you. Mm -hmm. um, the gold membership for bigger companies and the platinum membership for really big companies, enterprises, okay. um, really big ones. So, so I, I, I put my money in. Yes, you put your money in and the association will take care of um, dividing it and helping the teams that are freely, chaotically, bazaar-style organized, 
um, to do their stuff. Help them to meet each other. I mean, those people, um, if you give your conference room, that's already great. That is something that the association doesn't need to pay then. But still, okay. people need to travel there, and some people need help to travel there. I mean, it's expensive to travel, okay. um, and they need to sleep in a hotel. Okay. So that's something the association can, can help with. And okay, so the association gives money to, for example, the core team. Yes, exactly. Okay, I give my money to the uh, association, Yes. and the association takes care for brand, for events, or, and also for giving money to, to, teams. to the teams, and... Yes. Okay. And you said you have your own ideas. Yes, that's I great. have my own ideas. Yes, and I that's, have. That's wonderful, because we, we need people with ideas, we need new ideas, we want to, to improve um, the community and the association. So with your ideas, uh, as a member of the association, you have multiple ways to, to help with that or to, to bring your, your ideas in. First of all, you can, of course, uh, create a team. That is something you don't need the association for. You can just create your, your f women team, for example. And can I also then apply for a budget Yes, as a that's team? the point. Then you can apply for a budget as a team to the okay. association. And then you can, for example, create a meeting for that. Um, okay. So, so, okay, so I can grant you contribute by building up a team. I can contribute by sending my developer to this. I yes. can also contribute by giving money to the association. Exactly. And then the association helps the team. Exactly. So I help the association, but I also help the team because yeah. the association helps the team. Yeah, that's how it works. And okay, and then the, and this association, if it's an association, they have a kind of structure they have. Yes. I assume they have. They have a structure, yes, of course. They have the board, that's uh, the executive part of the association, they take mm -hmm. care of the daily business. Like a president, vice yes, president. Exactly, yeah, okay. uh, taking care of the finances. Okay. And um, of course those are voted for, so all members get a vote to vote for them. So you can... Uh, you, I don't no, think you, so. No, you don't <laughs> think so. Right, I don't think so either. Um, but they are voted for by the Expert advisory board. Ah, okay. They and are voted, but not by the members. They no, are voted by the. They are voted board. by the expert advisory board, okay. which is another body of the association. Okay. Um, and the expert advisory board um, takes care of um, um, checking the budget applications and um, giving advice to the board how they should proceed in the in the actual. Okay. So they gather the the, the applications exactly. and they think um, what to do with and how to prioritize, so they exactly. have kind of strategic uh, decisions yes. uh, regarding the budget applications, yeah. and then they build the money out. Yeah. And they do it just by, I want to do this, or do they have any uh, possibility to ask the members? Me as a member, can I, can I simply say I, I would prefer more to finance this? Yes, or I they, would usually there's a poll every year about the, the budgets and um, the EAB takes that into consideration and okay. then uh, creates a final plan out of that. Um, but you as a member uh, can vote on the, on the members of the EAB, so mm -hmm. you can decide who will be joining the EAB. That okay, so I can join, I can vote on the EAB, exactly. I can uh, kind of uh, be polled uh, uh, and my ideas get considered exactly. on the budget or whatever you call it? Yes, and then okay. there's the third body, it's the business control committee. Okay. And that takes care of, of checking if everything went right in the end. So Ooh, if that's like the Germans Rechnungshof. I know yeah, they exactly. check. They, the they are yes, very, yes. They're yes. checking the numbers. Yeah, exactly. I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And also those are voted for and you have your vote for the members of okay. this. Okay, I can also vote for the, for the uh, checking guys. Yes, exactly. BCC. And you could also um, be, be yourself one of the people that, that could be voted for, okay. if you want to. So and that's, yeah. a, that's a way how to bring your ideas in. You could take an uh, official position in the association and then bring your ideas forward in the EAB or the Business Control Com Committee. Okay, so, so, so this, uh, this association, now I have a kind of uh, idea, yeah. idea of this association. It was a little, a little bit complicated. Yeah, of course. It's a but so it's association, it's part of the community as well. Yes. So I think people of the community are n members in the association yes. and uh, parts of these bodies. Exactly. Okay, so I have this uh, whole world. Um, Yes, and, this um, is really a, a big world. Of I think, uh, and now I get the idea, it's a really big world and, um, well, you know, I have children and uh, I've got my mom, my aunties, my cousins, you know, my brothers, well, this was sometimes, they gave me a hard time. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think there are some kind of 
problems from time to time in this universe, I assume. Of course, that can happen in, in every family, and the type of three family is no different. It, there are all kinds of problems from time to time, and people disagree on things, and there are discussions. That's normal. I mean, yeah. that's normal life. Everyone knows yeah, that. Sure. And most of those discussions will be, will be ended in, in a good way, and, and there is a decision, and at some point, all people agree on something, or at least uh, accept the, the decision. That is fine. Yeah, but you know, we, I have this one cousin, and she's a very, very shy girl, you know? She's a shy girl, and uh, there was this un one, one uh, guy, this is other cousin of me, and he was really a rude guy. And he kind of, uh, yeah, it was like, I didn't, I, I think he didn't meant to, but in one kind, he always dominated uh, my cousin, and um, this was a little bit um, annoying to see. And, um, yeah, but it was, they had a problem, and that they weren't able to solve it. So, so, yeah, on their own, probably. That's that's. A yeah, problem. it's nice that it you can tell they, they can. You can simply talk and talk. And, but I think there are problems which can't be solved. No, by of self. course there are problems no. which can't be solved. Is there and a solution for that? Yes, I think there is. Um, there's always kind of a solution, but. Um, since sometime we already have a community manager in the Type 3 community which takes care of such okay. things. And um, since this year we, don't, we have more than that, we have a community working group. Okay. Um, four people of the community that take care of such problems and that in general take care of the health of the community and um, try to save the world in Type 3 and take care of the well-being of the community. That's the idea of the community working group. So like feel-good feel, feel good managers or yeah, what? It's like feel-good <laughs> managers, exactly. Or <laughs> are, are do they also solve problems? So if I have a problem, I can come to them and say, oh yeah, you know, I don't, don't, don't please tell this loud, whatever, but I have the problem with this and that guy who we all the time fight him. And, and, you, and you, maybe you can... Maybe we can help, yes, of course. Okay, maybe like that's something... Mentoring the, thingy? Also that, yes. The community working group is pretty new, so um, they are still working on, on what exactly they will, they will do, but that's one part they, they definitely want to help with, to get people to communicate and to resolve problems that people cannot resolve on their own. I think they should work on like and an, an, an document where it's written, please don't do this and please don't do that. That would be a good start. That can help. Uh, some policies like can a, help. Like a, 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 a code. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, a code of conduct, that's called. Ah. And we have that already. We, we have ha one. We already have a code okay. of conduct, but that will be improved over time. That's also one of the things the community working group should work on, okay. to improve this code of conduct and, and shape it uh, in a way that works for everyone. So there are documents where there's written how I should behave as a, whatever, as a, as as a, a normal... As a community member, yes. As a community member. Yes, but also as a team leader. So if you create your, your women team, you should check the, the leadership... Um, Code oh, there are conduct. two codes of conduct. Yes, there's a special code of conduct for leadership, uh, which especially um, tells you how to behave as a leader of a team, because then you have more responsibilities, okay. um, people will look up to you, and, and you should behave uh, even more friendly than, than you do yeah. as a team, as a community sure. member. Yes. Should. Okay, so they, these guys already have this. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. And, um, and um, yeah, maybe we can now Sh point at Ben. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because he's part of the community yes, working group. Yes, our community manager, Ben, which is one of the four members of the community working group. <laughs> you can join Yes, you have, point. Ben! Yes, come on, come on. <laughs> Give him a clap. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey. <laughs> I think we met already on some event. Yes, we did. Okay. And then there is Benny. Is Benny there? Is Benny? Come on. Benny! Finally. Hey, hey. Yeah, come here. Okay. So, so Benny, who are you? I'm part of the CMS core team, okay. and kind of uh, with a developer background, and I'm still here because I love this community and I want to help, uh, you know, grow it and grow it in a healthy way. Cool. So you are kind of interaction to the CMS. Yeah. Okay. And now you, you are part of the community. You have your own microphone. I have my own microphone. <laughs> yes, I'm also part of this community working group, and I'm uh, part of the Flow and Neos development team. So also more from a development background, but I also like community and like the, our community and want to to bring communication together and people together and um, have a friendly and, and great fostering community. So here. you're the Neos hub. Yes. Okay. And who are you? 
I'm Ben, the community manager. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, re I'm really happy that we, ha we have our community working group. So uh, we're we actually just starting it up. So it's not uh, that well known yet. So I'll publish an article tomorrow or the day after about the hangout we had about diversity. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that we really try to achieve uh, together is to get more uh, people besides developers in. So more people from outside, more women and everything you have from ethnic minorities. So we, we really try to have a very diverse community so we can really do much more innovation than we currently do. Yes. So, so and I'm Gina, and uh, I'm a little bit the former hub to the association because I've been uh, for quite some years the vice president of the association. Uh, okay. Um, I think... Um, that's yeah, it? That's it. Thank you, guys. That's the cast. Um, if you have any questions about the community, about uh, the association, um, you can ask these us. People. Yeah, um, these are our email addresses. Uh, ask us if you have questions about the community working group, ask us as well. And in general, if you have anything with the community, just write to us. You, we are around here. Yes, Find us, and you can simply now ask questions if you like. Yes, maybe have any questions? time for one or two questions. Uh, unfortunately, no? you're over time. Wow. Oh. Ha. Yeah, come to us. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah